Hello, America. We are with Eugene. This is Eugene. He's a good friend of mine. He's uh, he's out there camping with us. He's been with the uh, he's been out there with the uh, RTR crowd for many years, and uh, he's from Pennsylvania, and uh, retired and all that. Yeah, old and decrepit, right? <laughs> no doubt about that. And there you go. But anyway, we thought we'd come into town and show you um, the the downtown. Uh, well, it's not down, downtown's over there. This is what they call Tyson Wells, and it's a huge area. This here is Highway 95 going. We're facing west right now at the stoplight, going north and south. That's that's north going toward Parker. This is south going toward Yuma. It's Highway US 95 right over here, and um, uh, Tyson Wells is a swap meet what, kind of like it's a bunch of vendors yeah you know, swap meet uh, there's a sign over there um it's kind of a flea market kind of a swap meet kind of a, a whole bunch of stuff a whole bunch of a lot of these buildings over here are there all year long they they, they deal with rocks and gems and stuff like that what, what do they call those people rock, rock hounds yeah so you got a lot of rock hounds out being in the desert you know a lot of that kind of stuff and uh, it's kind of the activity center around town. You want to go in and buy something. It's it's a good place to go shopping. And and then over here, we'll get to it eventually. But over there, there's what they call the big tent. That's going to be what next week or two weeks from now. Yeah, this Saturday. Yeah, this Saturday. The big tent starts over here. And that tent, it's like a great big um, circus tent. And uh, they got a bunch of vendors. Kind of like if you uh, go to the state fair, they have all the vendors for, uh, for different stuff. They all have booths. So that's. Uh, we're just gonna walk around and show you different things. You can buy firewood down here. Um, this is a new firewood, isn't it? That wasn't there last well, year. It was here last. Was it? Okay, because I buy across the corner over here. Yeah, I do. Too. But there's uh, firewood right here. So anyway, we're we're gonna find a place to uh, park, and then uh, once we're walking around, we'll just I'm, I'm gonna take show a back you. entrance. Uh oh, he's going off roading. Oh, there's a curb. There. There's a curb right there. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see the curb. Yeah. I thought I was past it. Yeah. Are you gonna go down that way? Well. Well. It, it's a. It, it's a <laughs> Well, once we once we figure Deadline, out where we're going, you know. once we get back figured out where we're going, we'll get back on the camera here. So I'm up here in this brand new Forest River fifth wheel, and uh, it's got one huge slide off the side here for all the kitchen and everything, or the, the couch and everything. And there's your kitchen, you know, an island and a full size refrigerator, and you know, your bathroom and your your bedroom back in the back. What you doing, Eugene? You're in my way. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking gangway, inside. son. Gangway. Because I, I want to. This is more. This is more what I would like right here. I have a feeling you'd like this one over here, don't you? <laughs> now this is more Eugene style right here <laughs> how do you like to live in that thing it's basically a bed with a couple cabinets I mean it's dinky 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 but I know people that live in them they're a little bitty and then back here's your kitchen on the back you just open it up 
Kind of like a chuck wagon almost. A chuck wagon you can sleep in. But look, it's got its own bathroom. It's got <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think out in the woods the bathroom would be a tree. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, if you think about it back, what was it during the dirty 30s and all the, the Okies all took off to California and stuff? Yeah. They would have loved to have something like this to live in. You know, they were, they, they were living on the back of a pickup, you know? Yeah. No, way too big. Can't wear it while I'm driving. What do you think? <laughs> there you go. Actually, I like this one here better. It's got that. Keeps the sun off you. That's nice. Oh yeah, it'll keep the sun off you. That's the point. Yeah. <laughs> Still rolling, I believe. Oh yeah. Just all kinds of stuff. What do we got here, Eugene? Discount grocery liquidator. All right. So a grocery out in the middle of a yep. parking lot, basically, yep. huh? This is, this is one of the owners, I believe. Uh, oh, hello. He shoots video. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Thank you for asking. You? <laughs> Somebody doesn't want their you guys put your clothes on. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's all I care yeah. about. Yeah, he, I, never, I didn't know this was here. Yeah. You guys put your clothes you. on. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you, what, uh, Explain this. This is almost out of date peanut butter. Okay, so $3. he gets it at a pretty good price $3. and it's yeah, passes yeah, the yeah, savings yeah. on, huh? Uh, well, this one here is dented. Yeah, yeah. But that, it's, it's ding and dent. Yeah, you know? but that's not going to hurt anything, yeah. Jelly, yeah. $2. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, there you go. Uh, whatever you want. They got like a fresh veggies and all that kind of Oh yeah, they got a little bit. A little bit of cooler little stuff bit. over here. Somewhere around the, the stand, like right uh -huh. there, is a bunch of fresh, whatever. I'm not Mangoes. Sure what um, yeah. Yeah, they got the, the fresh fruits, There's potatoes, are, and all that. We know all kinds of cereal. Yeah. Baked goods, rice. Mm -hmm. I need rice. There you go. I don't need that much. Yeah. I did not know this was here. I've been down in Tyson Wells many times. I did not know this. It's a, it's a outdoor grocery in a, in a tent, basically. And they've got um, older, a lot of groceries that are getting ready to go out of date. So like, they don't want to sell them at the grocery store shelves. So they sell them to this guy cheap and he passes the savings on to you. Something there to you put, go. Something to put me in a coma. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, uh, uh, Eugene's got diabetes. He can't <laughs> eat that kind of stuff. So yeah, but just all this stuff, I mean, well, we'll see here. Oreos for two bucks. Oreos, okay. Where's the date at on here? You know, on the back, maybe? It's right, mm -hmm. right there. I just saw it. Uh, thought I saw it. I only got one hand there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you see it? We'll let's find something different. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, these, these are uh, Oreos that are black with orange cream in it, with blue cream in it, with pink. Cream. Oh, that's, that's unique. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, here we go, October, October 10 of 21. So right. it just went out of date. Just went out of date. But yeah. it's still good. You know, popcorn. So canned I'll be darn. Got all, all, all kinds of canned goods here. Yeah. yeah. I did not know this was here. Back here, this is some fresh veggies and stuff. Mm -hmm. They got a spirit and so on and so forth. Very small selection, but they got some. Yeah. 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 They got a lot of this kind of stuff right here. You know, a grocery store gets that, they don't want it, so they set it in a box. This guy comes by and picks it up and, you know. That's a way to really a lot of a lot of the people that are out here in Quartzsite are very low budget. Very like they're living on Social Security of five or six hundred dollars a month, and they've really got to make their dollars stretch. So they come to a place like this. So anyway, pretty neat, Gene. Pretty neat.
going to take that magnet off of her. She got a little bite. Damn! Oh. Watch your fingers and you put it back on. I'm just throwing it. <laughs> That's all the hens he said that I'm getting away from him. <laughs> wow, that has got a bite there. No kidding. About 70 pounds. Four bucks. God! <laughs> you can slide it off pretty easy. You can slide it off, you ain't pulling oh, man. it off. What's that come from? Like a C D drive or I'll something? Show you. I'll show you. Come here. I'm, I'm one of his best salesmen for that item. Oh yeah. That one right there. What's it come from? That's two of those. It's hard drive. Hard drive. Okay, that's what I thought it would be. Yeah. That one's got something stuck in it. Five bucks. Yeah. You get yeah. two of them. Wow. You take it apart and you get two of them. Well, wow, okay. I have four of these in my rig to hold the curtains up. Oh, I'm still looking for a switch. Five even. Five even. No, it doesn't. Yes. It doesn't stick. No, there's apple one anyway. It's strong. Well, yeah, I was just here. No, it's meant to be. You take it apart, they cancel each other, though, right? No, 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 no. They're individual. It's not gonna stick. It's made to be non-magnetic from the outside. Okay, so once you take them apart, they're gonna be ugly. <laughs> Make sure you put cardboard between them, or you'll hurt yourself trying to pull them apart. I gave me that fair warning. Five even. Okay, very good. Yeah, when you take it apart, you put a piece of cardboard or something in between them so you can help a lot yeah yeah I guarantee it <laughs> Look how big that cat this this thing's huge that is a uh and so i think that's probably a tree trunk and they've just carved it out where the, the the roots go into the ground is more than likely what they've done but yeah, i mean it's you know artisticness is just neat what they what they can do with wood Uh, as I'm walking along here, I see this this t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Suppose I ought to get that for Kirk. <laughs> and then Eugene's just showing me this here. Quartzite rock liquor. Alright. Uh I suppose there's ex uh, there's a story behind that. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Oh, okay. You're gonna hold off on me? Yeah. Alright, this is well, the owner of the store. How you doing? Yeah. What's your name? My name's John. Arts. John, okay. My What's name's in Quartzite even. Arts. Arts. Oh, there you go. All right. It's RTTs. And you make your own screen print designs and everything yeah, here, right? Yeah, my own designs. I'm beat on. Okay. Drawn artwork. What's the? Do you Every have like year a? I do a different design for Quartzite. This is the one I did for this year. Okay. That's a, a drawing of the original stagecoach style. Okay. You know, that's where right. Tyson found the well and water. And okay. Right. Now right. has a date on and it. And you got the the Campbell the because Campbell. the high jolly, Campbell. right? Yeah. 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 And has this on the yeah. front. Real quick, do you know the story behind the high, high jolly? Yes. Okay, real quick. I mean, just in, in a few seconds. The the government was wanted a program to use camels mm -hmm. 
to run the mail through here because they, they carried twice as much weight mm -hmm. and half as much water. Yeah. So they bought all these camels from Syria mm -hmm. and they hired Hai Jali, which technically his name was Hai Jad Ali. Yep, Haji Ali, yeah, that's what I heard, and yeah. He, when they canceled the program, he, um, he bought three of the camels. Mm -hmm. Some got sold and some were wandering in the desert. Just got released. So that's the reason of the camels. The here. camel. Yeah, that's, and if you go uh, over behind the bookstore, you can ride a camel. Oh, really? $10. Yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah, there's a camel in so, town. Yeah, that's the story behind the, the camels in court size, Haji Ali. And he they, they just shortened the way that they say, you know, Americanized it, yeah. Haji Ali. Yeah. yeah. So and there's a screen printing. Yep, yeah, there you, you go. go. Very good. I print it as you go. And this is one from a few years ago. I remember that, that one. That was my first shirt. Yeah, I remember that from yeah. yeah. And if you're looking mm -hmm. for me, if you look up, you see that pink t shirt? Mm hmm. That's my flag. Okay, very good. <laughs> Actually, this shirt, and that's why it's so beat up, it's because it used to be my flag. See, you're right around the corner. Right over here is the, the, the food court, right? So it's easier to find you. I'm in row O, 14 and 15. Row O, 14 and 15. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then after the shows, they'll move us up. Okay. I stay till March. So. Oh, okay. You're here all, all winter. Yeah. Okay. Well, once all the vendors move out of here, they push us off. Those. Very good. Yeah. If right. you see that flag. All right. You bet. The yeah, pink flag flap in the wind. All right. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yeah. Sir Eugene, we, we, uh, these buildings. Oh, man. Look at all these crystals. Wow. They come from Arkansas. Arkansas, huh? Yep. Where we're at? Like Hot Springs area? They'll, they'll tell you inside. That, that piece That's is five fine. grand. Wow. Anyway, this is... Uh, Ron Coleman Mining, Arkansas Quartz and Crystal. They got these buildings out here that are like, they're permanent. I think they're here all year long. Wow, look at this. Look at this price here. Man, oh man. Unreal. You can buy this for $150. Hmm. Oh, the whole tray? Okay. Man, oh man. Some really diamonds, clear ones. You know. Clear crystal. Yeah. The clearer they are, the more the press, yeah. Look at some of these gold ones here. Mmm, mm, my precious. <laughs> Man, they're just huge. Huge selection and everything. Then they got these things. They're like purple. They saw them in half. What, what do they call these? Eugene? Geode. A geode. Geode. Now what, what creates that? mineral and then as the liquid evaporates or the heat okay the, the, what we call evaporates it forms a crystal. Oh well, beat on crystal still growing. Mm. Unbelievable. Huh. Yeah, he... Just growing on the face of a rock. Yeah, like in you know, a cave right there? on a cave wall or a ceiling yeah. or a floor or whatever. Yeah. So this is just grew up off of here because of mineral quartz. Yeah. Uh, these are sold by the flat. So if you want to buy this box, this whole box here, six hundred dollars. So like two, four, there. six, seven times five, five. thirty-five. Right. Thirty-five different things. Right. And look at all these little pretty crystals. I, I yeah. forgot to touch the name. This one's more expensive. Yeah. This one's eight hundred and fifty dollars because of all the different colors in the. Oh, crystal. here's the price up here. Okay. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Here's four fifty for this one. This is neat. Yeah, gorgeous all that is. Yeah. Do you know what any of these are? No. Yeah. That's no. crystal. Quartz. Different types. I mean, they're all kinds of crystal. Different types of quartz, I would say. Yeah. It'd be nice. Look at this one. How much is this thing? This sheet here. 15? 15. 15 grand. Wow. What a display piece. Yeah. There's some really, what are these over here? These are black ones. <laughs> There's some black ones over here. That's neat. Priced individually. Yeah. When, when the crystal grew, it's just affected by a different mineral, so it has a different color. Yeah. It's my interpretation. I could yeah. be totally wrong. See how it's black right here? It's crystal on it, or white on this side. But yeah, this one piece right here. Uh, What's that? 210 or 110? This is 200 for I this one. Tell, yeah. This is 80. 80 yeah. for that one. And it has to do with the quality of the clarity and you know, color. Okay, we just came out of the crystal shop, and you know, do you think that's the store? No, there's another store, and another store, and another store, and another store, and another, all the way back. And they just, 
you know, just everything. I mean, now these aren't; these are a little different kind of stuff. No, They're, this is selenite. Selenite, you know, these yeah. aren't crystals or whatever. But, right. but then there's, you know, the polished balls and everything. Yeah. It's like a, almost Crystal like a ball. bowling ball. Yeah, yeah. A stone. You know, and they had just all kinds of different stuff here. A goblet hit. They made, oh, you know, they, they they put it on a lathe and burnt. Yeah. You know, run down a. Oh, that was broke there. Yeah. But yeah, um, all kinds of neat stuff. I don't know what these are. But uh, just, you know, here we are, sand dollars and uh, shark's teeth and arrowheads and there's a shark's tooth. Just all kinds of different stuff. I mean, just, you kind of come around and just, uh, you know, like a rummage sale. You just kind of, hey, I like that. And you go over and buy it. Pretty cool. But, yeah, there's, we're going to go to another store over here, I think. It's still open. Or, I was there last, a couple years ago, and they had, what would you call those things? Those geodes? Yeah. And they're like five, six tall, foot tall. I mean, huge ones. Here, I don't. What do you call these here? These are prehistoric. That's a trilobite. What? Trilobite. Trilobite. Two, three. Tri okay, a trilobite. Okay. Here's some kind of a little uh, starfish of some type. Something, yeah. Fossil. Yeah, fossil. Fossilized remains. There's some fossilized. There's a, a fossilized fern underground, underwater fern. Cool beans. Nautilus. Cool. Yep, Nautilus. I have to slice it in half. Yep. What is this? Oh, here's a big like you can make a table out of. Yep. And they've, they've already cut it all down. All got, got all the all the different. Uh... There, here we go. That's some more of those uh, geodes. Well, I, I don't. Yeah, they look like it. The, yeah. But they're formed of a piece of rock. So when they broke a piece of rock yeah. off, a geode is usually round and they cut it in half. These are broken in half. Yeah. And then they actually in half. There you go, look, got coffee tables and stuff, or outdoor outdoor coffee tables. So here's this one here, it's all kind of formed, you know. They, they've cut it down, smoothed it all out. So, yeah, just all, they were just building after building to this stuff. You know, here's a, another different company. They have a different idea about this kind of stuff. Here's some jade. Yeah, here's some, some little figurines they've made out of pewter probably. Bunch of fossils. Here's some, like a pterodactyl head, maybe, or something. Here's the teeth, and here's the eye socket. Don't know. Here's that. What do you call it? Try to bite. Shark's teeth, or some kind of teeth. There's all kinds of neat stuff here. You know, petrified nautilus. See, what you can do is you can come in here and buy some of that stuff and then you, you can take it home and make artwork out of it. See, they made this stone here and then they twisted all this wire to make this little tree. Here's some bookends they've done the same kind of thing with. So this is a place where you can go in and buy the raw materials to do your artwork type of stuff. Here's that black crystal we just looked at and somebody's put, built it all together, put a tree on it, see? So pretty neat stuff. Oh, wow. Look, look at this one. <laughs> it's a chair. It's a it's chair. A love sheet, Kyle. Oh, yeah. man. Oh, here, look at this. Yeah. Yeah. It's only sixteen and a half thousand dollars for a rock chair. It's unique. That would that was that would be perfect for somebody's backyard. Yeah. You know? and, and you better know where you're gonna put it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. ain't moving it again. Ain't moving it again. There. <laughs> check Here's these out. Let's go inside. Let's check these out. One. These are what do you call these? Uh, it's not the old thing. Huge. There's a heart shape. Look at this thing. <laughs> Big heart, they cut it out in the shape of a heart. Heart shape, yeah. There's a display. Yep. There's a huge nine thousand dollars. Jeez, look at these. These are tall. Yeah. There's a really big one here, purple on the yeah. inside. Yeah. Nine ninety-nine thousand kilograms. Oh, right here. 13, 13, what is that, 13,000 kilograms? Or 132, 
It's not kilo, 132 kilograms. No. Oh, yeah. It can't be right. Anyway, 65. 6,500 probably. I don't know. It says 65 and then two small it's zeros. It can't be 65 bucks. Yeah, no. That's no, 6,500 no. at least. Probably. Or there's a one in front of it that's part of a, not part of a dollar sign. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. And just, you know, row after row of stuff. Here's the purple geodes. And this goes on down the list. Here's some that are polished. What is this green? Would that be a jade, probably? There are so many different kinds of rocks. Yeah. Now, just for just for the record, you're you're not an expert on all this, I you, but no you know, clue. but I, you know a hell of a lot more than I do. That's why I'm asking. Just you because this stuff. I've asked people questions, right. not always. You know. right. you, you, you've got a bit of an interest in this. And yeah. This is all new to me, so just just let you people. But Gene doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh, he's not an expert. I yeah. He does know more than me, so. Yeah. Um, we saw Check it. five other opinions on YouTube before yeah. you listen to me. There you go. <laughs> we uh, we saw that uh, sign or T-shirt or whatever it said. Uh, was it quartzite, no, quartzite rock liquors. Quar quartzite yeah. rock, rock 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 liquors. liquors. You're going to explain that to me. Let's go. Oh. Let's go find a rock and you can explain that to okay. me. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I think we finally found it. We've been looking over all over the place trying to find here. Here's a nice looking rock, but there's no water. So I, I said, well, lick it then. He says, well, I ain't licking it because somebody else might have licked it, you know. And then you lick it and throw it back in the box, and some, you know, it's so because of COVID. So anyway, <laughs> he finally found a place. We got a little bit of water here, and this is a dry rock. Okay, right. take it off. So, so if you zoom in on this, I can't. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see yeah, that it's got like some color, color to it, but it's. Mm -hmm. So when you take it and lick it, okay, actually dick it in water, mm -hmm. and now you see it again. Right. It brings out all the color. Where's another one of those dry pieces that you just picked up? Uh, put them side by side. Here, well, put them side by side. Just just wash half of it. Here's here's one with a lot of contrast. There we go. You see how the water really brings out the uh, the. Uh, the color so really brings out the color where it's dry here, but it's wet here. See how much difference the reds are? Yeah. So, so why do they call it rock licking then? Why? What's the purpose? Be, because, because people in the desert would pick up a rock and lick it to see what the color okay. looks like. Okay. All know, right. Because that was the water that was available to them. Right. It's just their their own saliva. Right. Because when you're okay. in the desert looking so, for rocks. So if you're right. out there and you call somebody a rock licker, you're not. It's not a derogatory thing or nothing. It's just it means a rock out. Rock out. Okay. Very good. <laughs> all right. So we finally got that. We've been looking all over trying to find the right, the right place. You know, you go into some place. We have we found this one place, and well, I don't want you filming in here. And then. The other place we found just the perfect rocks, but there was no water around. I said, "Well, just lick it." And he goes, "I ain't licking that." <laughs> it's because of COVID and stuff, you know. So anyway, this guy, uh, what's your what's the name of your uh, you think your little shameless plug here? This is uh, Jeremy Berg <laughs> mm -hmm. here on yeah. the corner, three hundred five, six, and seven. Okay, and brought some material that I've been digging for about five years. Mm -hmm. First where, time bringing it to market. Where do you dig this at? In the Mojave Desert, okay, in California. All right. And this is the same thing here. Hold the camera for me sure. just right Every there. Every piece is different. There's water. You see when you put water on there, see how it really brings the colors out? Bam. Yeah, see how dry it is? And this, it brings the reds out. And, and this right here, see how it's almost clear? That's opaque there. It really, you know, just the water really shows what it would look like after it's polished, polished. right? And I after it's polished. That I can show you. Uh -huh. so you can yeah. see what it looks like after okay. it's polished All right. out of that same chunk. Mm -hmm. Okay. So right yep. there. There you go. See. You got your polished piece. You hold that that wet in. that wet piece back up there. Oh, okay. Well, let me wet it down partially again. I like having examples. There you go. So when you wet it, it kind of gives you an idea of what it's going to look like once it's been polished. That's the same piece that's just cut out. So you take this piece here and it makes little gems like this. What would it be good for? Like. Uh, you can drill it and put a rope on it. You can wire wrap it. You can set it in silver. There's a lot of different things. Okay. You, can do. you could. You could I use did this it for, one uh, double sided, uh -huh. so I'm going to drill it and put it on some paracord and just make a necklace. Of it. Very good. Okay. Yeah. Or There's one that kind of looks like an yeah. arrowhead or a shark's tooth or something, but it's not. But. Yep, just a little piece of lavender tooth. Yep, we got one cut out like a heart. Yeah. That's really pretty. Uh -huh. That's out of the same like, material. Almost looks like, looks like gold almost, but yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's got yellow plumes on it. It's called Dot's Plume. Very nice. <laughs> 
you guys know all them technical A lady terms, got, like, yeah. found it, <laughs> yeah. and the guy that cut it first cut it a certain direction that makes it into dots right. instead of the plumes. Right. Because mm -hmm. usually if you cut yeah. it one way, it makes dots. Cut all this stuff here. Plumes. This is what it looks like on the outside? Yeah. Well, I have a rough museum piece Okay. Over here. All right. There you go. So this is the matrix. Let me stand over here. In. Okay. This is when you're walking out in the desert, this is this what is you're ridiculous. looking for. Yeah. You see this? Uh-huh. And you only know if you know. Right. You walk by That's it or, just a rock it, to or drive over it, jeep over it, do yeah. something. <laughs> but see the chisel mark? Uh-huh. It, it laughs at your tools. It is such a hard rock. Really? I could dig 10, 12 hours and get a football sized piece. Oh, we darn. This one took two days. Really? You can see right here. Hence the, the, the prices on some of these yes, things. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So this one right here, uh -huh. there is all the beautiful feather plumes that are in the side wow. of this nodule. Yep. Now the best part was this piece right here. And then this one I sold to a collector earlier today, mm -hmm. and it was about this big out to a grapefruit. Okay. When I dug that out, but as you can see, I cut the bottom with my chop saw. Mm -hmm. It's going through. Yeah, all the way. Yeah. But it really got jemmy in that now, one. How is this section. formed? By volcanic or? Yes, it okay. is volcanic. You've mm -hmm. got the host rock, which this is a fun rock. You got that's your rhyolite. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hardest rhyolite, like I said, it just, your hammer chisels it's hard to set a chisel in it because it's so damn hard okay but then you've got all the infill okay so in some of them you can actually see it pushing up through like this other one that took two days to get out mm -hmm. see there's your rhyolite mm -hmm. broken mm -hmm. and then this silica base came inside and filled in and heat mm -hmm. time and pressure it grew wow now what's the clear thing on the very top right there? here that's a fortification that's a clear agate it's okay. called the fortification, like each wall is built in there, mm -hmm. in the agate, that's why they call it fortification agate. So there's quite a, uh, this would be what in science, this would be uh, ge geology, or geography, or not? Geology. Uh, geology, geology. Okay. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so there's quite a science to all this stuff, and these guys there really is. get into it. I got it. a book, too, my friend wrote. Yep. <laughs> yep. There you go. Oh, he's so. in the Nobo, too. Yeah, yeah. uh-huh, so. in the Nobo. Yeah. Nobo, oh, the, the trader's called a Nobo? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, All right, so no boundaries. this is neat. See, this is really okay. Here we his go. Name's Marco Campos. He sells his book out here when mm -hmm. he gets to. Mm -hmm. But this is his second book. Mm -hmm. Hold yeah. it over here for the sunlight. And I'm the selling camera. them. Uh huh. There he is right there. That's Marcos. He's okay. a PhD volcanologist, mm -hmm. and he wrote this is his second book wow. on his genetic approach mm -hmm. as how they were formed mm -hmm. so this is just his opinion okay which is fun we all have our own opinion right I'll be yeah. and he's writing a third book right so now so when this is formed none of us were sitting around here watching it yeah <laughs> very well, good people say huh. how old are these rocks i say older than my great grandpa there okay. you go yeah. pass that you're not sure yep i don't know not too yep. sure i wasn't around yep so, all right, well, thank you for showing me around. I appreciate the, the, the awesome. explanation. Thanks he was trying to in. tell me what licking, you know, what, what a rock licker was. And I'm like, you know, rock licker, don't, tell, dig, don't call that man a rock licker. Be careful. Huh? Where I dig, mm -hmm. because where the reds and yellows are, mm -hmm. you've got toxic stuff. Okay. I've even found some uranium. Okay. You don't want to be licking those rocks. Yeah. You yeah, get very so. sick. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, with, anytime I see some bright colors, mm -hmm. I get my squirt bottle. Yeah. 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 I actually broke one up in one spot. And inside of a pocket was this gooey yellow substance. Mm -hmm. I just walked away. <laughs> uh, I didn't want to mess with that. Right. It, yep. it looked yep. like you it looked like you're in there. Really? Yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this one has a little bit more of a, uh, a crystallized or oh, yeah. a rougher it's got edge. The plumes at the top. Yeah. Yeah. And see it's this is neat. spectacular material that was dug about nine years ago. Mm-hmm. And uh oh, okay. it's gone. Wow. That's a uh, nice little juicy pockets there, there. Oh, and yep, some plumes that. on that side. It's called psychic. This has been polished. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to water. How, how and then you... over here, come here, water. This is a perfect example. See your water line? Mm -hmm. See how Go ugly ahead. that is at top? Mm -hmm. It's dry. All right. That's polished. Same piece. Okay. So this came off of that. Yep. There you go. And there you go. And you can see that's the direction. And then when you lick it or get it wet, Bingo, they bingo. look alike. They look yeah. alike now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's off the same chunk. Very cool. I still have the other piece. It's about 70 pounds. Mm. <laughs> I got one at home. Let's turn it that way. Really All neat right. stuff. Very good. Very good. All, All right. right. Well, thank you. Yep. Thank you, Eugene, for trying to teach me what a rock licker was. And uh, 
Uh, what's that? You ready to cut it off? When you're done, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I, I got a question. I, I want to ask a question probably off camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of him. Well, <laughs> anyway. Eugene wants to go, so I hope you had enjoyed uh, today's view of uh, walking around Quartzsite and the, uh, the the Tyson Wells and everything. Uh, it's a unique town. It's a very, very unique town. Don't come here in the summer, though. It's 150 degrees out here. But during the winter, a wonderful place to go. If you're a camper, an RV, or whatever, it's a wonderful place to come. And it just it's unique. It's just different and unique. No other town like it. So, y'all be good. Ciao. Take care. Bye.